Hi, my I'm, name is Joanna Tolborn and I'm a nurse practitioner student. What's your name? Anais. Hi Anais, nice to meet you. So I'm going to be filming a video on the thorax and lungs. Um, this is for an educational purpose. Is it okay if I film it and upload it in YouTube? Do I have your consent? Yes. All right. So um, to begin, we're going to start the thorax and lungs um, by inspecting. Um, for the purpose of this video, the patient actually has her clothes on. But in a clinical setting, we would have the patient um, with bare, we would be doing this exam under bare skin. So um, we would be inspecting the patient's um, chest, making sure that there isn't any barrel chest, no pigeon chest, no kyphosis noted. Um, we would also be inspecting the AP ratio of the patient. So sitting, making sure that the AP ratio is one to two. Um, if the patient were to stand up, we would be checking the AP ratio. Can you please lift your hands up a little bit? and making sure that the ratio as well is a one to two ratio. So can you sit, Ms. Sanais? Mm -hmm. So after inspecting the chest, we would also be checking the color of the patient. So we would be checking that there isn't any use of accessory muscles. Um, we would be checking that there's no cyanosis, no retractions um, noted, and that the respiratory rate would be um, normal. They're, they're not in any acute apparent distress. They're 14 to 20 breaths per minute. Um, we would be checking the extremities. Can you check to see if there's any clubbing? So we would be seeing that there's no clubbing noted in the fingers. And then we would also check the capillary refill. Make sure that the blanching is less than three seconds. And we would also be checking the patient's lips, making sure that there is no cyanosis, that they're pink, um, and that the patient's skin as well doesn't show any pallor. And there is no cyanosis throughout the body. After inspection, we would move on to our um, palpation. So we would start by um, palpating for costochondral tenderness. So um, I'm going to palpate and let me know if there's any pain, okay, Ms. Anais? Is there any pain? No. So we would just palpate. Can you lift up your breast a little more? Mm -hmm. Is there any pain? No. Okay. Okay. And we would just, um, there is no costochondral tenderness present. And then we would be check checking for tactile fremitus. So for ta tactile fre fremitus, we're going to be doing um, anteriorly and posteriorly. But for the purpose of this exam, as I mentioned, we're going to be doing the anterior portion first, and then we're going to be doing the posterior portion after. So I'm going to be placing my hands, and I want you to say 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay. So... um. We would see that there is the vibration is felt symmetrical in both lung fields and that there is not it's not unilateral. After we would also be checking on the chest expansion. So for the chest expansion, we're gonna be checking at the tenth rib. The tenth rib, um, we're gonna I'm gonna be getting to the patient's level for the purpose of this video. And I'm gonna ask you, can you take a deep breath now? Okay, again. Okay. And there is equal chest expansion um, when she takes a deep breath. Um, so now that we've inspected, we're going to be percussing for the per. I mean, sorry, palpated. Now we're going to be percussing for a percussion. Um, we're going to be using our non-dominant hand and striking our middle finger and noticing if there's any. If there's dole, it's usually an organ or a um, bone, but in the lungs, it should be resonant. So we're going to be doing it in, I'm sorry, ladder pose. I'm sorry, can you? Okay. Um, so we would percuss, making sure that there is resonance, as I mentioned, throughout the lungs. Um, now we're going to be going to auscultation and I'm going to be auscultating the, the anterior portion and then we'll move on to the posterior portion of the um, exam. So I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath if you feel at any time that you feel shortness of breath, just let me know and we can go at your pace, okay? okay. Take a deep breath. Okay, 
So now we're going to have the patient turn around. And now we're going to be starting on the posterior part of the exam. So we're going to start again with the inspection, making sure that there isn't any, that the spine is, um, there isn't any, like, um, like kyphosis or anything like that or any curvature of the spine. Um, we're going to do the, we could do palpation, but we already done it in the front. So it would just pretty much do the causal condo tenderness, make sure that there isn't any tenderness when we palpate the um, posterior part. Then um, we're going to be checking the percussion. Sorry, we're going to do a tactile affirmatus. So we're going to, this would be done in both sides as well. So can you say 99? 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. So we'll be checking that there's equal vibration when we um, palpate with our um, hands. And as I mentioned, this would be done in both um, anterior and posterior as well. Now we would be doing the, um, we're gonna, we did the palpation, now we're gonna be doing the percussion. So um, for the percussion, we're gonna be percussing um, pretty much like in a ladder motion as well, making sure the same as the front. So I'm just gonna non-dominant hand. Okay, and then we're going to be um, checking for the diaphragmatic excursion. So for that, it's, we're going to be checking um, how the width of the um, diaphragm when they inspire and, and when they inhale and exhale. So I'm going to ask you to, I'm going to start at the seventh rib, about the seventh rib, and I'm going to ask you to inhale, Miss Anais, and maintain the inhale, okay? Okay. So it'll be right there. I'm gonna get a marker real quick. Mark it. Then now I'm gonna ask you to exhale and maintain your exhale, please. Okay, so now we're gonna be measuring it and it should be three to six centimeters. So that's five, so it should be a normal finding for the patient. Um, now that we've done that, we're also gonna do the chest expansion. So it would be in the 10th rib as well. And we're gonna ask the patient to take a deep breath. And there should be equal movement in the hands. Um, now we're gonna be um, auscultating and we're gonna auscultate the patient um, in a ladder motion as well throughout the um, different areas and we're going to be making sure that there's no adventition sounds such as crackles, wrong eye, um, friction rubs, or any um, stride or wheezing noted. So we're going to be auscultating with a diaphragm. Take a deep breath. Okay, so the lung sounds are cleared throughout the um, field. There are no adventition sounds noted. And now we're going to be doing a specialty test. For the specialty test, we're actually going to be performing egophony. Egophony is um, when we ask the patient to say E um, and we're auscultating meanwhile they're saying E. Um, if the patient has a positive egophony test, they would, when we would auscultate and they would say E, we would hear I instead of E, which would mean that there is consolidation in the lungs and could be um, some type of lung um, disease. So every time I place my stethoscope, could you, if you could please say E, Ms. Okay. E, 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 E. E, e, e. Okay, 
So she, I was able to hear E and not I, so that would be a negative um, egophony test. So I believe this concludes our exam on the thorax and lungs. Thank you guys.